So there's been a lot going on in Ireland lately. There's recently been a an immigrant who stabbed three Irish children along with two adults, one male, one female. The immigrant was a man from Algeria. And as you could imagine, the people of Ireland weren't very pleased with this. They were upset and rightfully so. Nobody wants someone who's not even from their country coming into their country and stabbing their children. Within the last year, there's been over 100,000 migrants who have come to the country of Ireland. So the people of Ireland are now experiencing this mass immigration and they don't like it, especially not now, after this Algerian man stabbed five people, including three children. And this incident doesn't stand alone. There's been a lot of crime associated with this new wave of immigrants who have been coming to their country. So mass immigration is starting to have huge effects on Ireland. And UFC fighter, former UFC champion Conor McGregor has been very vocal about this issue. He's been very vocal about the fact that Ireland needs to crack down on this wave of migration that the country is seeing. So anyways, you have this Algerian immigrant who stabs three Irish children and in response to the stabbing, the people of Ireland hold a very large protest, right? They're in the streets of Dublin, Ireland, and they are being very vocal about how this immigration wave needs to be put to an end. It needs to stop. And rightfully so. They want to protect their children protect their families, and they want Ireland to be the Ireland that they know and that they love. And so when you see new waves of crime on the rise, and there's a direct correlation to the new wave of immigration on the rise, anyone who loves and cares about their country would say, hold on, wait a minute, let's really evaluate the situation here. Something's not right. This has to stop. And that's what Conor McGregor has been saying. But anyways, as a response to the mass protest that were held in Dublin, the police commission, commissioner um, in Ireland condemned the protest. He said that he condemned the disgraceful scenes in Dublin, referring to the protests that were held by the Irish citizens, he condemned the protest. He claimed that a hooligan faction driven by far-right ideology is behind the violence on the streets. So according to this guy, Drew Harris, the large protest put together by the angry and rightfully so, the rightfully angry Irish citizens, it wasn't due to the fact that some Algerian man is stabbing Irish children. It wasn't due to the fact that there's a rise of crime in the country. It wasn't due to the fact that people want to protect their kids. No, according to him, all of this is just a result of far-right ideology. Have you noticed that when people do something that doesn't align with the leftist worldview they're automatically labeled some type of far-right radical but anytime the left seems to do something such as burn cities down to the ground or vandalize monuments and statues of the heroes of the country that they're in hurt people, injure people, threaten people. When the left seems to do these types of things, the media, the establishment, they never have any interesting names to call them. Matter of fact, they're usually congratulated. They're usually supported. They make excuses for them. But when people who don't agree with those people doing those things do something that isn't even remotely as bad, as what these people consistently do, they're automatically labeled far-right, radical. The left gets away with so much, but anytime something doesn't align with the leftist ideology, that group of people, they just get completely pummeled by the media, the establishment, etc. 
Anyways, as a result of this ridiculous statement that came from this Irish police chief, Drew Harris, Conor McGregor responded on X. McGregor said, Innocent children ruthlessly stabbed by a mentally deranged non-national in Dublin, Ireland today. Our chief of police had this to say on the riots in the aftermath. Drew, not good enough. There is grave danger among us in Ireland that should never be here in the first place, and there has been zero action done to support the public in any way, shape, or form with this frightening fact. Not good enough. Make change or make way. Ireland for the victory. God bless those attacked today. We pray. Now you see, Conor McGregor is upset just like the people of Ireland are upset and just like they should be upset. And you would think that someone such as chief of police would sympathize or empathize, I should say, with the people of Ireland because he's Irish himself. That could have been one of his children. So you would think he would be able to empathize with his countrymen a bit more, but instead he immediately points the finger at them, ridicules and criticizes them for being angry. Conor McGregor has been very vocal lately about how immigration is affecting his home country, Ireland. This isn't the first time that he has recently spoke out against something that is taking place in his country in relation to immigration. Not too long ago, about a week ago, McGregor um, spoke about the impact of ma mass migration is having on his homeland, remarking Ireland were at war in relation to the chronic housing shortage that has made basic living unaffordable for many citizens. Connor said, do not let any Irish property be took over unannounced. Evaporate said property. It's a war, he added. And there's been a combination of other things that he has recently said in relation to immigration. Now, in my opinion, what I'm about to say here is the highlight of this video. It is the main story. Ireland is now investigating Conor McGregor for hate speech. <laughs> Conor McGregor under investigation for online hate speech by Irish authorities. Former UFC champion and Ireland native Conor McGregor is reportedly under investigation for online hate speech linked to comments made on social media criticizing Irish authorities for their handling of a suspected Algerian immigrant stabbing five people, including three children, last week. It goes on to mention what he tweeted, right? The moral of the story is Conor McGregor is currently under investigation for hate speech. So that should tell you a lot about the current state of free speech in Ireland. You can be investigated and maybe potentially incarcerated or fined or whatever punishment they see fit just because you speak your mind, you vocalize your opinion or you type your opinion out on X. In Conor McGregor's case, he's standing up for his country. Have you noticed nowadays in the Western world, especially here in America, the more patriotic your stance is, the more harmful it somehow is, according to the media, according to the establishment, according to leftists and liberals, the more patriotic your stance is, the more problematic it somehow is. That should tell you who is on the wrong side and who is on the right side. That should tell you who loves their country and who hates their country. It seems like a lot of times the people being criticized and attacked the most by the media, by the establishment, are the most patriotic people. And this seems to be another case of this right here. Algerian man in Ireland stabs five people, including three children. Now, Conor McGregor, who was upset about this because he doesn't want to see his fellow countrymen be stabbed or see their children be stabbed to death by random people who just came to the country, the fact that he's vocalizing his opinion about that somehow means he should be investigated. But hold on, that's not enough. They take it a step further. In Ireland, they're currently trying to pass a bill that makes it illegal to even possess hate speech. Take a look at this. So this is the bill that they are currently trying to pass in Ireland. Offense of preparing or possessing material likely to incite violence or hatred against persons on account of their protected characteristics. They just being able to incriminate people 
for hate speech isn't enough. They now want to incriminate and arrest people for even possessing hate speech. So if you have a meme in your phone that the Irish government deems hateful, even if you don't even post it, which you should be allowed to post it if you wanted to, but as you're seeing right now with the McGregor situation in Ireland, you can't. But that's not enough for them. Not only can you not post it, you can't even possess it. This is bananas. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous isn't even the word. Isn't even the word. This is. All I'm gonna say is this. You are a fool if you think that stuff like this isn't on the verge of coming to America. It is. It's already happening. We have people in America now being arrested and sent to prison for making memes during the 2016 election. If you haven't heard about that story, go search it up. Do some research. Lastly, I'm going to say I've always been a Conor McGregor fan. I watch the UFC sometimes and McGregor has always been the most entertaining fighter in the UFC. I've always been a fan, but now I'm even more of a fan. And the way that he's standing up for his country is the same way we need more American celebrities and Americans with a platform to stand up for our country here at home. We need more Conor McGregor's in America. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like and subscribe. Support my channel. I really appreciate it and be on the lookout. There's a lot more videos coming very soon. Very consistent videos. Thank you for watching.